Hey everyone, my name is Mindy Wender and I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to eat healthy when traveling. So I just came back from like a three week vacation in Florida and I was at Cocoa Beach for a week and then Disney for almost two weeks. It's like 11 days, I know that's a lot. But anyways, I um, managed to eat pretty healthy when I was on vacation. And I know spring break is coming up and I know a lot of my friends are going on vacation um, in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to give you some tips to show you what I did um, to eat healthy when on vacation. So it's very, very important to eat every like two and a half to three hours, okay? Because you have to keep your metabolism going and you don't want your body to go past that point where you get hungry when you feel hungry. Then your body goes into starvation. You don't want that because then you're going to be storing fat. So make sure you keep snacks on hand. These are awesome. They're um, the cocoa roast almonds, the dark chocolate. So it's kind of good if you want like um, something sweet or whatever. They also have just plain almonds or whatever. But I got this big thing. They do come in little single serving on the go packets. But I got the big thing because I can just put them in little Ziplocs myself and it's more bang for your buck. So there's like a money savings tip too. Um, I really, really like these. I highly recommend them. Also, you want to keep other snacks on hand, like some protein bars. This is by far the best protein bar that I've ever tasted in my life. Um, this is the P90X Peak Performance Bar, and it comes in like chocolate and a couple different chocolate, peanut butter flavors, whatever. This is the um, Wild Berry Yogurt. I like them all. I just get the variety box. Um, and also, I like the Cliff Bars, so whichever one you like. This one, I have to say, if you're wanting something that will hold you over longer, this is more of a meal. Okay, so um, this has got 250 calories in it, but it has, and let's see how many grams of protein this has. I can't remember, 10. So that's pretty good, but you know, you get 10 extra um, grams in this one, it'll hold you over longer. Um, another thing that I do, especially when you are going to be, like, say you're going to Disney World, I would have Shakeology in the morning. Um, this is great for any meal, but I would have Shakeology in the morning because it's quick, easy, and it will hold me over until I have a snack when I get to the parks or whatever for lunch. Um, this is something that you really should consider or ask me more about. Just comment on this video if you want more information because this is a meal. Some people think that this is like all the other protein powders on the market and it's just a protein powder. This is not just a protein powder, okay? I just wanna make that clear. This is a meal, and what's so cool is that I could go down to, to any restaurant when I'm on vacation, but there's no way that I'm going to get this at any restaurant, okay? This has, like, so many vitamins, minerals, probiotics. Um, it's, like, five trips to the salad bar, but the ingredients in here are found from all over the world, so there's no way that I would have been able to get this, especially on vacation. Um, this has... 15 grams of protein in it so it really will hold you over and like I said it's like a multivitamin it has tons of fruits and veggies so you're not eating like crap while you're on vacation so you're not going to feel like crap while you're on vacation so um I know that people were can like well I don't know if I want to like make it in a shaker cup I don't recommend making it in a shaker cup because it's so much better when you use a blender so here's another tip this is like one of the best travel blenders ever um, it's very compact as you can see, but also it just twists off like that and then it's it's your cup You drink out of this so it just snaps on like this you plug it in and it, it, it blends your Shakeology And then you could take it off and as a cup. So that's really great, too. So there is a few of my um, Snack tips, but when you are going to eat out, I would suggest trying to get stuff like um, healthy sandwiches wraps uh, salads. I know at Disney World, I got a build your own sa salad, almost like Brad was teasing me. He's like, what do you want? A build your own salad? Yes. So, um, they had grilled chicken, they had salmon, whatever. Just make sure to go to put the dressing on the side. That's my tip. So when you're trying to eat healthy and you're ordering from a menu, just whether it says there's dressing on it or not, just say, I want no dressing or the dressing on the side because that will add a ton of calories to your meal and it's so easy to cut that out. You probably don't even need it or maybe you just need a little bit, you know, something like that, or get something like oil and vinegar for your salad, something like that. Um, so those are my tips for eating healthy when you travel. Um, if you want, I'm gonna do like a little giveaway right now. So um, after you're done watching this, comment under this video on YouTube 
and leave me uh, suggestions for the videos that I can do in the future. I'm going to try to post one video a week to give you guys tips or whatever. It doesn't have to be just about uh, fitness and nutrition. It could be about anything. So leave suggestions in the comment section and the one who has the best suggestion, I'm going to give away seven day supply of Shakeology and the person who has the second best suggestion will get Turbo Fire Greatest Hits. So leave your comments, click like, share it with your friends on Facebook and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.